The city of New York is sinking, not quickly, mind you, but sinking nonetheless. New research says the combination of massive skyscrapers and ocean level rise is threatening Gotham. Bill Weir reports from Brooklyn. We now have the answer to the question your child is bound to ask you, how much does New York City weigh? Uh, 1.7 trillion pounds, we now know, as the, the skyscrapers in this town seem to get taller every year. But more important than that number is the more than a trillion tons of heat traffic pollution that humanity has put into the in sea and sky in the last 150 years, which is, of course, melting the poles and causing a slow but steady sea level rise. So as New York, along with so many coastal cities around the world, subsides a little bit, sea level is rising. That's why they say coastal cities will be three to four times more vulnerable to sea level rise than the more stable places. Uh, you can hear in the background the beautiful music, the calliope of Jane's Carousel. This is a Dumbo neighborhood of Brooklyn. And those with a memory going back nine years, you might recall Superstorm Sandy that devastated this waterfront along the East River. Uh, the waves were eight feet high against the glass here. It survived. But now, uh, nine years later, they are shoring up the riverbank. See the barge out there with all the boulders on it? This is part of a revetment program that just starts the process of fortifying New York City against rising seas. The Army Corps of Engineers has a number of different scenarios for seawall construction, multi-billion dollar, multi-decade long projects to try to protect, of course, the financial center of Manhattan, the shipping ports on the Jersey side as well. And the other interesting thing, as the planet warms, it looks like the natural wind shear that used to protect New York City from hurricanes is going away. So the chances of another Superstorm Sandy go up as the temperature goes up. Uh, the predictions are sea level rise could be anywhere from seven inches to two feet by 2050, which is not that long away. The only difference in those is how much more fossil fuel pollution humanity puts in the sky. And that is the, the switch that, that is controlling this temperature movement right now. Uh, but in the meantime, it's a beautiful day. You wouldn't know a place like this is gradually moving, but such is the power of humanity these days in the age of the Anthropocene.